and go. My name is Delrisha White and I am a senior journalism and media studies major here at Bennett College and I am also the student body president for the 2012-2013 academic year. And last fall, fall of 2011, I had the opportunity to study abroad in Shanghai, China through New York University. Um, I took several classes that were culture classes relevant to learning more about Chinese people, behavior, mannerisms, and culture. Um, and I also took um, a language class, a language, and I had an internship with Ogilvy PR while I was abroad. So what was the best part about studying abroad? The best part about studying abroad is there are a number of things that were really excited about studying abroad. I don't really know which one is the best part. Probably the best part about studying abroad um, is the best part about studying abroad. Let me think. The best part when you study abroad, like the best moment of your study abroad. Hmm. I had a lot of really great moments. My favorite part about studying abroad was meeting different people from literally all over the world. So we talk about that here in America, but when you're abroad and you are the foreigner, you naturally mesh up and you click with people that are also foreigners. Um, and so you learn about people from different parts of Europe. I met somebody there from Czechoslovakia. I've never met anybody from Czechoslovakia before. Um, you meet people from Mexico, from America, from um, London, from Hungary, from everywhere. And so I think I really appreciated that. Um, I learned a lot about culture in general while I was abroad. Um, but also, uh, it gave me opportunity to connect and relate with people on a way that I probably would have never had the opportunity to do, to do otherwise. Um, so I would say connecting with people, learning people, meeting with people, and networking with people that um, I would have never met before. Did you feel like you had a unique experience as a black student abroad? Yes, being a black student abroad was a unique experience in itself, especially um, in China, because uh, while we're here in America, there, there are people here from everywhere that are mixed, or um, you just, you see a lot of different cultures here, mm -hmm. uh, but in China, you're actually on, in somebody else's home country, Chinese people are from China, just like Mexican people are from Mexico or um, different parts of Ethiopian people from Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. America is just a mix of all those things. So for me to be black and go to China, um, they a lot of Chinese people weren't used to seeing black people. Um, and then I had an Afro, so it really was like, oh my God, is this real for me right now? Everywhere I went, somebody had their camera out. People were like, Seriously, like trying to take a picture with me everywhere I went. Like, I was a celebrity. Um, people wanted to touch my hair. Ah, oh, you're so pretty. You're so beautiful. Everywhere I went, I just got stares everywhere. And sometimes, you know, for a minute it was flattering. Sometimes it got pretty annoying. Sometimes it was a little um, uncomfortable because I would get on the bus and everybody would just be staring at me. Um, people would try to force their kids. Like, I would see kids like, no. Um, and the moms were like, yeah, come on, come on, like trying to get the kids to take pictures with me. Um, these are infants, infants that I've never seen a black person before. Um, and so they were like freaked out. Um, and so I had an interesting, I think I had a, a my experience not to, um, you know, put down anybody else's experience, but it might have been more interesting in that regard to compare, when compared with my peers that were also there with me. When I went to more rural parts of China, um, it was clear that they wanted all the people there wanted to be with the black girl or talk to the black girl or touch the black girl. Um, and so I got a lot of attention in that regard. So yeah, I think it was interesting. When I seen other black people there, it was very clear. We would go out of our way to speak, like, hey, how are you? Hey, how you doing? Looking good today. You know, people that you didn't, you weren't even used to. Um, that you, regular black people that you would see here in America, you just would do extra you know, to make sure that you're greeting them because there weren't many black people there. So. Yeah. If you could give any advice to a student who's on the fence about studying abroad, what would you say? Um, my advice that I would get, to, especially here at Bennett College, when people ask questions about if they should study abroad, um, my advice to them is to be unafraid um, and to be comfortable with being uncomfortable. 
um, because a lot of times it's being uncomfortable or it's a fear of the unknown that prevents people from applying. But I remember talking so much about studying abroad. I said, you know what? Forget it. Stop talking. Stop talking. Stop talking. Go apply. Like, just go apply. So I went and I applied. I'm like, all right. And whatever happens after that happens. If you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. What are the next steps? Um, and it was that initial just do it mindset, that attitude that I had was the reason why I had the opportunity to stay abroad and I wouldn't change that. Um, so I would say to anybody who's interested in studying abroad or considering studying abroad, to just be, you know, nothing worth doing comes easy. And so be comfortable with that and be okay with that. Don't, don't, don't waste time thinking about if you should do it or not. Just do it. Um, and it's definitely an experience that you, um, that you will enjoy having. I'm sure you will enjoy having if you, if you embrace it. Because to think... Um, the life that you're going to be living for a couple of short months is actually somebody's reality. And so if you embrace that, um, you can learn from it and, and you build culture skills, people skills when you come back to America. And that's valuable in any work setting and in your own personal life as well. All right. Thank you. No